Hello everybody, I'm Joy and welcome back to Sustainable Jungle where we share sustainability tips, tricks, hacks, products, brands and stories to better our planet. Today we're exploring the world of sustainable fashion, why it's important and what it entails and how we can be part of building a more sustainable fashion industry. Let's start with the why. Why is sustainability important in fashion? This is old news, I know, and I don't want to beat the same old drum and give you more eco guilt, but just in case you're not across the minutia of fast fashion impacts and the like, let's quickly cover some facts and stats of our modern clothing consumption and its environmental and social impact. We can break this down into seven distinct issues. First up is human rights violations. The fashion industry is riddled with issues such as child labor, modern slavery, hazardous working conditions, gender discrimination, and wages you can possibly eke out a half decent existence on. And these human rights violations are happening across the entire supply chain. The most concerning and well-known are raw material sourcing where farmers and processors are exposed to numerous chemical pesticides and very low compensation for their efforts. And garment manufacturing and production in unsafe working conditions is ubiquitous. You may be familiar with the Rana Plaza collapse in which 1,134 people were killed and at least another 2,000 were injured when the factory building they were working in collapsed in Bangladesh. These people were making clothes for big name brands. It's been just over 10 years since this tragedy and despite numerous meaningful efforts to change the industry, human rights abuses and terrible working conditions are still rife. I mean, it's just unbelievable that this complete lack of care for other human beings is still an issue. The second issue and overlapping issue in the fashion industry is the lack of transparency in supply chains. This makes it extremely difficult for big brands in particular to ensure their ethical practices throughout the entire production process without engaging in robust auditing. Making clothing is very complicated from sourcing raw materials to garment manufacturing and post-production. Numerous exchanges occur making tra traceability almost impossible even for well-intentioned sustainable brands. Thirdly, the rate of fashion consumption is alarming. We consume 80 billion pieces of clothing each year, a 400% increase from two decades ago. This fast-paced consume and discard model is unsustainable, piling up landfills and ignoring the mounting social and environmental implications. Fourth issue is chemical use in fashion production. Cotton, for example, is one of the most common textile materials, but it requires an enormous amount of insecticides and pesticides, as in 25% and 18% of the world's insecticides and pesticides, respectively. This obviously causes untold damages, um, damage to the environment, not to mention growers and wearers. Dyeing and processing textiles also involves harmful chemicals. Water use, waste and pollution are also significant concerns in the fashion industry from tanneries dumping toxic waste into rivers to microplastic pollution caused by synthetic fabrics during washing, our global waterways are becoming wastewater. And conventional cotton's extreme thirst contributes to the industry's massive water consumption to the tune of six to nine trillion liters per year. The current fashion industry is also an accelerator for climate change. Fossil fuels used in are used in fashion production in several ways. First, in the form of coal-powered manufacturing, as in to power the machinery in the factories, and next in the material inputs, as in the fabrics, which, by the way, is almost all synthetic fabric. And of course, gasoline-powered distribution, which transports the majority of our clothes around the world via shipping and delivery vehicles. Clothing also has one of the poorest recycling rates, so almost all unwanted clothing is thrown away, sent to landfills, and rather than recycled, reused, or composted. And this also contributes to GHG emissions, not to mention pollution. All told, fashion accounts for 10% of the world's total carbon footprint. And finally, greenwashing. In fashion, companies often use marketing to communicate that they're doing something special to be sustainable when really they're barely adhering to basic human rights or environmental laws. While we know that progress is certainly worth celebrating, you just can't say that a brand is sustainable or ethical just because they use recycled materials when they don't have the basics in place. Okay, now that we know what sustainable fashion isn't, let's discuss what it looks like today, as in what we see from the most leading, genuinely people and planet focused brands. In a neutral colored nutshell, our sustainable fashion definition is simply an ethical approach towards designing, sourcing, manufacturing, selling, and delivering clothing in a way that minimizes the industry's respective impact on people and the planet along the entire value chain. Minimize is key though, because nothing is ever 100% sustainable or ethical. Trade-offs are inevitable and both ethical and sustainable fashion have constantly shifting goalposts. And just to clarify, sustainable fashion practices predominantly refer to the environmental and environmental aspects, whereas ethical fashion practices deal with social justice in the, in the fashion industry, namely human rights, animal rights, inclusivity, and supply chain transparency. You could say that sustainable and ethical fashion have different genres, each with their own sustainable and ethical attributes. Some are better than others, like zero waste or circular fashion, vintage or secondhand fashion, upcycled fashion, recycled fashion, fair trade fashion, 
vegan and cruelty-free fashion, slow fashion, regenerative fashion. I won't go into all the details here, but I'll link to our deep dives below in case you want to explore some of these movements further. But beyond these genres, there are common markers which can help you identify a sustainable and ethical fashion brand, or rather a more sustainable and ethical fashion brand. First up is materials. You want to look out for better, low-impact materials, which are typically natural, organic, and recycled varieties, although these can be quite nuanced, so we'll add a link to our fabric guides in the description below. Next up, supply chain and labor practices. Uh, think public and up-to-date communication on material sourcing, factory location, and any certifications to ensure safe working conditions and fair pay, approach to chemical use and dyeing and production, among many other things. Then there's carbon reduction and commitments like improving energy efficiency, switching to renewables, opting for lower carbon products and design, and where brands can't reduce their emissions any further, using carbon offsets to ultimately get them to next zero, net zero. Then we consider green business practices, which could be anything else that brands do to reduce their impact. And we're, con we're conscious that these are very much overlapping initiatives. But for example, they may have initiatives in place around carbon neutral delivery, sustainable packaging, water treatment, recycling, take back and repair programs. Next is inclusivity and diversity, which includes things like diverse leadership and more inclusive sizing, design and marketing. Finally, community and charitable giving is a nice to have as donating products or profit to charity and or volunteering are signs of a triple bottom line approach to business where more than just profit is considered. But this is not always achievable for a small brand who's just scraping through, so that's why we say it's more of a nice to have from our perspective. Now certifications are a shorthand way of ticking pretty much all of these boxes, uh, and there's a lot of them out there, so I'll pop a link to a couple of the lists below uh, that we've put together that will help you sort of separate these or understand these better. They're not the be all and end all, but they're definitely green flags. So beyond the why and the what, how can you start building your own sustainable wardrobe? Importantly, it goes beyond the clothes that we buy. You can repair and mend garments instead of replacing them. You can support local tailors or learn basic sewing skills. Swapping or renting clothes is another great option to reduce waste and give pre-loved garments a new life. And remember, quality over quantity, slow fashion is the antidote here. And if you are looking for to buy something, start with vintage like this, which I raided from my grand's cupboard. Uh, we actually made a few videos on guides on this now, so go check those out, they're really helpful. And finally, a little plug for our site at Sustainable Jungle. We try to make it easy for you to find the better brands by sharing a plethora of sustainable clothing brands that we've already done extensive research on. I'll pop a link to some of our favorites below. And that's it, so what's the key takeaway? Sustainability in the fashion industry was once upon a time not even a thing at all. But the momentum is happening and it's bigger than it's ever been. Unfortunately, it's far from where we needed to be, but it has, it has to be the status quo. And your efforts, the fact that you're watching this is a step in the right direction. Just keep on making conscious clothing choices and helping others to do the same by normalizing things like secondhand, rewearing, repairing, and yes, paying a little more to make sure everyone involved in the process of making your clothing was treated as you would want to be treated. As I mentioned already, I'll add links to the resources I've referred to, including our comprehensive guides on certificates, certifications, clothing brands, fabrics, and a list of other resources on sustainable and ethical fashion down below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like button, any button if sustainable fashion is your thing. I'm Joy from Sustainable Jungle. Much love and happy sustainable styling.